Welcome back to part five of Practical Bash. Today we're gonna to talk about standard in. So in the last video, we talked about standard out and where there's standard out, there's also standard in. But first, let's see about how we can pass arguments to commands in uh, the shell. So something that we've already done before was pass an argument to echo. So for example, we would pass echo hello world which is basically two arguments, two string arguments here that we have passed to echo and then echo would print them out. So arguments followed by the command are one way to uh, pass data and we'll get into that in a bit more detail when we talk about uh, functions a bit more. However, there is another way and that's really, really useful. Instead of just appending these arguments to your command, what you can also do is pipe them to your command. And what piping is, we'll see in a second. So we've talked about the cat command before and before we used it to cat something that would error because we wanted to show a non-zero exit code. Uh, for now, I've prepared something that we can actually cat. So here's a lorem ipsum file, which is a long file of text. So something that you might have seen before, when you want to look at a long file of text and uh, you only care about, let's say, the first line then you can pipe this the pipe is this this vertical line thing here and um you can pipe this into something like head let's just pipe this into head for now it's a bit hard to see um, but it just happened to be exactly the the size of my screen so you can see at the the very top of the screen right now we have cat lorem ipsum head so this is shorter than the the file used to be we can also pass arguments to head so for example we could say n1 this is even harder to see let me clear first run this again so here we have head with n1 so what happened here we took the output of the cat command which is printed to standard out and then head seems to read from standard in so this is the connection here if we pipe something to standard out and um, pipe it into something else it will be read into standard in and uh, this perform some operations. So head just takes the first n lines of this file. In this case, it's just um, a single long line. However, instead of a line number, you can also put the number of bytes. So we could say, give me the first, or characters, give me the first 50 characters. And um, let's say maybe 100, and you see that this gets longer. The beauty of standard in and piping commands is that almost every command that you use in the terminal supports standard in. So you can build these long chains and it's really, really helpful to know that there is this common interface. So you can build a chain as long as you want. For example, before I said that uh, this file is very long. Uh, how long is it? We can just pipe the output into word count or WC. So WC prints a bit more verbose output. So let's see in the help. For WC, it uh, doesn't help. help. Let's see, man page. So word count takes four different arguments here: the minus C, the minus L, the minus M, the minus W. Word W would be the number of words. So let's use that one. So here we can cat our text again: lorem ipsum WC minus W. So now we get the number of words. If we wanted to get the number of lines, we could do minus L. Notice that every line break is counted here. So um, if we take a look at this this one again, you see that there are also empty lines, so they're also counted. So I generated 20 paragraphs of um, lorem ipsum text here, and uh, between each paragraph there's an empty line, and those are also counted. What you can also do, of course, is, as I said, chain these commands. So let's cat this again. And let's say we're only taking the first two lines maybe. And now let's count the lines. This is of course entirely pointless. We already know what the result is gonna be, two, because we cut it off. But if we say we wanna count the words, we would get 150. This is already useful. Speaking of useful, piping always works, whether it's useful or not. So you could also pipe your text into beautiful commands such as lolcat. In the next video, um, I'll go over a couple of more actually useful commands. Um, but first, there's one more thing that we need to uh, understand about standard in. Only what a command that is piped into another command prints to standard out is read into standard in. So if a command also writes to standard error, that is not read into standard in. So let's build an example for that. 
let's build a simple script that we call print some lines.sh. In here, we start the file off as we start off most of our bash files. And then we're echoing this line is printed to standard out and we don't modify it at all. However, let's copy that and let's turn standard out to standard, oh, sorry, error. And in this one, we pipe one, two, two. So let's copy this, have another one and this line. is also printed to standard out and standard error. So here we have four lines, two are going to standard out, two are going to standard error. So let's make this executable. Oh, sorry. Let's make it executable and run it. So here's our command. So what happens if we pipe this into lolcat? And so lolcat will actually become useful now because it'll highlight only the lines that were printed to standard out. So let's run that. And now you can see we have all the standard error lines first, only then do we have the output to standard out. However, it wasn't immediately returned to us, to the terminal, but instead it was piped into lolcat. And as you can see, the lines that were not written to standard out were not affected at all. Can you also write your own scripts that read from standard in? Yes, of course. So let's build a new script that we call read from standard in some creative naming going on here let's make it a bash script again and now what we want to do is read from standard in so the first thing that you could do is just run a command that already reads from standard in so if i just run a command here let's say lolcat and nothing else make this executable well, this was waiting for standard in, so let's say cat lorem ipsum read, uh, read from standard in. Then as you can see, it's the same behavior as before. So that is one way of doing it. However, you can also make it explicit. For example, you could have something like red equals, oh, sorry, without the dollar symbol, red equals dollar cat so you can use cat to read from uh, standard in and then here you could say echo I have read dollar red and now let's echo something foobar pipe it into read from standard in and there you see I have read foobar and of course we can always keep on piping So that was it for standard in. And now that we have that knowledge about standard in and about piping commands, in the next video, this is one that I've been looking forward to, we'll go over a list of very, very useful commands that you can use in everyday use to pipe into one another.